What's up you guys? Welcome back to Nika's Vlogs. Today is Thursday. I am 31 weeks pregnant. Alright, before I show you, it is big, okay? My belly is very big. There you go. It is very big. I saw the baby on Monday. Baby's doing great, thank God. Heard the heartbeat and everything. And, oh, I... I have been sitting there filming for work and for my main channel I will if I post that video before this one I will link it below so you can go ahead and check it out look at these flowers that we got for a little boo-boo uh, for Easter all the beautiful colors so this is me this is how I'm looking they did not weigh me so I don't know how much I weigh last time Three weeks ago, I was 84 pounds. That is pretty big for me because I've never been 84 pounds. Not even with my first child. So, but I had gestational diabetes. So, all that, um, all that bread and sugar that I've been eating is not good. Um, but I just can't wait. It is less than two months now that I am due. And I'm getting so tired. My back hurts. I've been getting hip pain um, and tingling and numbling sensation on um, either one of my legs just going down. And I looked it up and it says that it's normal, I guess, with pregnancy. But it is so hard. I am also having a hard time sleeping. I usually sleep on my right, left side and put a pillow in between my uh, belly and legs. But even that has been very difficult. I've, I've been having also difficulties breathing. So I just sit there for 30 minutes, an hour. And then I kind of pull myself down to sleep. Um, we've been trying to do also some uh, walks around the uh, forest here. We do wear masks. Stay away from people completely. So it's just me, my husband, and our daughter. Um, because it's nice outside. And I need to get a little bit of air because I've been developing or I've been having lots of anxiety attacks from being home. Um, I am busy, but it's like very um, difficult to stay home. We did work on the baby's room. We did the floor. We did also the... Um, we did the floor. I painted the crib. I'm going to insert clips while I'm painting the crib. Here's a little clip here of the crib that I'm painting. As you can see, it was brown, uh, dark brown, and it's kind of beige. I wanted the color like that dog right there, but we couldn't find it. Uh, or how to say, more like a strip wood. So this will do. So I'm painting that. This is my daughter's bedroom. We put everything from the baby's room here. And we just stripped the carpet, brand new carpet. But look what was underneath. Whoever did it, this house did it kind of cheap here. So tomorrow morning, someone is coming and they're doing the floor. I can't wait. My husband painted it. He can't really see it right now. I'll show you guys next clip during the day because it's pretty uh, cloudy today. Does it rain all day? But it's so nice. Can't wait. There's my bikini. So, this is gonna be the baby's room. It's a lot of space. I'm still in my pajamas. So, I didn't even sand it because really you don't have to. So, I'm just painting it. My husband and my daughter, our daughter, are downstairs. They're, uh, I don't know what they're doing. It's almost dinner time. I took a nap because I was so tired. This is the second floor. So I told them I just need some time here to myself. So I have to do this and then those. And hopefully tomorrow we'll be putting it in. it 
not going to be much in the baby's room, just the necessities for now. And I still have to fill out the, the baby shower invitations. Lord willing, we'll have it, you know, if this, this whole virus goes away, this whole issue with this, you know, but I'm still going to send them away mail them to people that you know want to come that we're inviting and if they you know if we can't make it then it's fine they love us they can mail stuff to us you know but we're still i'm still sending them mailing them out tomorrow by next week they should all be everybody's homes and then I'm going to reveal a little bit the room but I will have a separate video just for the room um, when it's all finished because hopefully soon this will be over and we can go and buy some furniture for the baby so here is the room my husband painted it it's all white you can't really see it but he did a great job. There's the floor. He still has to vacuum. We love the floor. The person who did the floor did a good job, but he messed up all our wall. So I we had to hire an extra person or a different person fix the holes that he made. There's the crib. This was our daughter's um, crib and it was brown. Not sure if you guys had seen it. So I painted it this color. Initially, I wanted a different color, but I don't mind this. I want it more like a woodsy. So, but I don't mind this. I think my husband kind of polished it more last night because I had left some stuff, you know. This is the baby's closet. And there's the carpet. Oh, we didn't put the carpet. But anyway, now we have to get rid of this nasty carpet which is brand new three years ago whoever uh, fixed the house is new but it got dirty with all the workers coming up and down there's the baby's bathrooms so there's the carpet it's very nice um and then we have to fix my daughter's room which is a mess we had the crib here painting it and we're gonna go today check out some wood for her and then we're gonna do the stairs too because we can't just leave it like this now you know but in the end in the end I will show you guys how this whole room I know I will show you how this this room will be decorated and I'm going to have a very minimalistic um, look so it's not gonna have that many stuff basically all necessary things so don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I will see you guys on my next video when we finish um, decorating, furnishing this room. For the baby. For the baby. Here you go. Here you go. So the doctor said the baby is pretty low. Let me see. And I'm like, yeah, I feel the baby low because I'm in pain the entire time. See you.